Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where today I'm going to try the third flavor of the signature crafting recipes at McDonald's and this is the one I've been looking forward to the most, the Pico Guacamole. They put any jalapenos on that thing, Bob? Nope, no jalapenos on this. Okay, so here's the box. That up. No special wrapper on here. Do have the artisan roll. So out of the box, this doesn't look exactly like the uh, pictures and the advertisements. A little bit flatter. You can see the lettuce there. You can see the white cheddar cheese. And if we take the lid off here, there we have the pico de gallo and the guacamole. Decent amount. I think there could have been a little bit more on there. I'm not seeing the ranch sauce there. I feel like I can smell a ranch sauce, just the melted cheese visible there. Not really able to see the ranch sauce though. Also there's supposed to be a lime wedge in here and not to be found. The aroma is mainly bread. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, I got lettuce and the quarter pound beef patty. Let me bite into where I actually see the guacamole here. That's the problem when you've only got a couple of spoonfuls. The guacamole tastes pretty good for the amount that's there. The pico de gallo, it has a little bit of a zing to it. I can't say that I'm finding the ranch sauce in here yet. Well, I actually found the ranch sauce. It's hidden a very thin amount on the bottom of the burger patty here. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get in terms of the flavor of it. I also think the premium lettuce and premium artisan roll make a big difference in the flavor of this burger. Now for the final bite. Special report. Special report. Woodpecker attack. Woodpecker attack. Woodpecker in the town. Woodpecker in the town. Citizens are asking if the government lied to us about the recent nuclear incident after being awakened last night by a woodpecker pecking all night long, pecking on skyscraper windows, pecking on doors. Cars around town look like they've been through a hailstorm. The sun is currently setting at this time. Will he be back? Will he be back? Woodpecker emergency. Woodpecker emergency. Everyone stay in your homes. Stay in your homes. Well, I suspected this would be my favorite of the three, and I was correct. The ingredients, uh, unlike the other two flavors, this has the right amount of toppings on it. The other ones all seem like something was missing. Uh, so if you just had two more spoonfuls of ranch dressing on the bottom there, and another good sized spoonful of the guacamole, 
and I think this would easily be possibly one of the best McDonald's burgers of all time. Now, the topping amount is particularly important when you examine the price at $5.29. This certainly was not the $5.29 burger, I think, without the sufficient amount of toppings on it and without the lime wedge that's supposed to be in there. But I, I would say $4.29 would be a more fair price for this as it was. But, um, and of course, the, along with the other things I ordered, it was $7.57. And then the Montgomery County Council greedily taking $0.45 cents tax. Ridiculous as usual, but as we've seen the recent weeks, we got to ask, what are they doing with this money? Because for four weeks, they haven't collected the trash on the trash day, and it sits out all week. And they said, don't call to complain, just leave the trash out. Don't call us, we'll call you. And they're charging this much tax, and they can't even pick up the trash. Lock them up. Lock them up. But overall, I'm going to say that uh, this would be five stars easily if it just had a little more guacamole and ranch dressing as it stands for this particular sandwich. I'm going to give it a very solid four stars. I definitely recommend if you want to try one of these before they disappear, definitely the Pico Guacamole. And we'll also have a little fun here and see who watches till the end of the video to know that it is actually Pico. I'm just kidding. Pico Guacamole. Hope you like this video, share it with your friends, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.